Welcome everyone to Cruises and Casinos. We are on Oasis of the Seas. Today is Sunday, March the 6th, 2022. It's Embarkation Day. It's now 20 after 2. Hopefully the casino is uh, not locked down. So we could take a quick look. On each side there's a hallway that walks into the casino. I'm walking into the uh, non-smoking area. The missus went to the other side, so we, she doesn't uh, get in front of me blocking the video. So let's take a quick look. We have uh, done videos of the Oasis of the Seas Casino before, so uh, this will be like a comparison. Uh, I know the ship was in dry dock, so I'd like to see what is new, if anything. So far, it looks exactly the same as I remember. This is like the really old style buffalo. So the casino was not upgraded. Which is great, less money to lose. All of these cabinets have been turned off. I think these are the jackpot jump machines. These are also turned off. These are hot stuff wicked wheels. I do believe I'm already lost. If uh, I'm duplicating these, I apologize. I think I did on these before. Got lost already. I think Oasis and the Allure are tied for the largest casinos at sea. We absolutely love the Allure. He's a penny machine with a max bet of $1.50. And they have some pretty large jackpots that pay off on these. This is the other side of the uh, Hot Stuff Wicked Wheels. Three more machines on this side and they also turn north. Dancing drums, double blessings, four of them. Here's the uh, different bed sizes, the uh, two cent machines. So right in the middle of the uh, quick hits and the dancing drums, we have the coin pusher machine. These are some of the old school machines back here. Red Cliff, Kilimanjaro, Da Vinci Diamonds, Stinkin' Rich. This will be the original Stinkin' Rich machine. It was very popular when it first came out. And the uh, Quick Hits uh, Platinum machines continue all the way 
There's uh, three, six, seven. Seven and five is 12 machines all in a row. And those on the end are the quick hit pros. These are the regular dancing drums, dancing drum brand. We had uh, really good luck with them on uh, Odyssey of the Seas. Zero luck whatsoever on Carnival Mardi Gras. We played this one, Money Roll, a couple of years ago on a Norwegian uh, ship and did really well with it. Maybe we'll try it on this one uh, also. These advertise as hot new games. They probably were a decade ago, but um, the signs are still there. Not sure what these are, I've never seen them before. But judging by the reels, I would speculate that they are Konami machines. Oh, actually they have the names down here. If I could get the names down, this one says Northern Treasure. And this one says Rising Fire Dragon, and they are Konami games. There are two more Konamis on this side. They are different games. They're always a lot of fun to play. They're very volatile. This one is called Golden Power. And this one is called Rock Around the Clock. Okay, we're still on the non-smoking side, heading towards midship. We came in from the aft, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry, from the forward. That's where our muster station is. Our muster station is actually in the uh, spa on deck six. Casino is on deck seven, I believe. This would be the cashier's window. And there's an ATM sitting over there. These are gold stacks, there's four of them. Some more of the uh, old school machines. These are more uh, gold stacks. Uh, so these four plus the other four uh, in the back of these, there are eight of them right here.
Hey, there's another ATM machine on this side. There's a um, the key master. We're still in the non-smoking section. Lightning links and every major jackpot here has been smashed compared to the uh, Mardi Gras and the Magic where they were all like maxed out. I should know the missus got three of them on the Magic. I was saying the missus got three of them, uh, the major jackpots and the magic, and zero on the Mardi Gras. This is three more uh, lightning links on the other side of the uh, first tree. And again, you can see all the major jackpots have been smashed. Here's a uh, wonderful jackpots. Again, all of these uh, jackpots have been hit. There's nothing that's high. So that gives me a conclusion that this casino pays very well. Time will tell. We have seven days on this ship with two sea days. We'll see uh, as the cruise goes along how oh, well the casino pays. Oasis of the Seas Casino. These are the wonderful tall fortunes. And Mighty Cash. This is the Mrs. Uh, one of the Mrs. most favorite game. Hard to tell what the jackpots are because I think they're reflected as uh, because of what denomination is selected. So if you pay, play the lowest denomination, like the one cent denomination, it might not be what we see in here. That might be the jackpots based on the 10 cents denom. Okay, so we came in all the way down to the end of this uh, side of the casino which uh, the entrance says was an unsmoking side and we got uh, some table games take a quick walk around the table games probably going to get copyrighted on this video because a lot of the music is getting recorded as I do the casino and uh, it never fails. Oh, and this is one of my favorite machines. It's the old school uh, China shows. Well, this one is China Mystery. And it's Boosted Wins and Spins, which is a really good one. You can see this uh, game has 30 pay lines. It's a one penny machine. It also has the more game features here, which means that uh, there's probably several Konami games loaded in there, like China Shores and so forth.
Well, these must be the high limits. You got one dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, and twenty-five dollar denom on these. Okay, right next to the China Mystery, we have some 88 Fortunes. These are one penny denom. And we have another Konami um, machine on the end of this row. This one also has the more game features. This one is the Lucky Honeycomb, but I'm sure there's uh, quite a few more in there. So on each end of these 88 Fortune, there's a Konami machine. I've been recording for almost 16 minutes and no one has told me to stop recording yet. Okay, let's get back to the table games. We got up to the ultimate uh, Texas Hold'em and this is a crap table. Blackjack. Might as well walk around the whole table, get them all in, and then get back to uh, where I left off in the slot machine. This is $15 minimum blackjack. $10 minimum blackjack. This table is a lot shorter than the other ones. See if you can see the difference in the heights. Yep, much shorter. And a roulette wheel. Okay, so we got all the table games on this side. Okay, we're back to doing the slot machines. Again, I'm not sure where I left off here, but it's got to be around this aisle. More old school. Turn off cabinets, the jackpot jump games. Another coin pusher. Never seen these before. Spirit Link. And two cent denoms. Okay, and now we come to a whole row of Konami machines. Look at these beautiful guys. Mayan Chief. Band of Gypsies. China Shores. Full Moon Diamond. These do not have more games loaded in them. This one is called Fairy Blossom.
Oh, he's a really old school. More dancing drums, double blessings mixed in with the grams. This one is uh, turned off. Oh, how cool! This person uh, get uh, four drum uh, bonus. And here we have more Konamis. We look at them individually because these seems to be a little different. These only have 20 P lines. The jalapeno, jumping jalapeno, seem to have 30 P lines. Fire of the East, 20 P lines. Mayan Chief, 30 P lines. Lion Festival. 20 P lines. Now this entire bank of uh, Konamis do not have the extra or more games loaded, so these are just uh, standalones. And there's yet another bank of them, Konamis. I've lost count. Let's take a look at the amount of P lines. The Mayan chief has 30. This one is Band of Gypsies. And this one seems to have 50 pay lines. Wow. And the minimum bet on this is 25 cents. That'll be fun to do. The China Shores has 30 pay lines. No. This one uh, doesn't say. Neither does this one. How many pay lines do you have? I think I just got lost that uh, bank of um, Konamis that I was filming may have been uh, recorded before. I could be wrong. We're over here in the corner, a little cubby cove. It's all video poker. The missus was just standing there and she saw me coming to film and she took off.
and yet another row of dancing drums, double blessings and grand mixed together. And over here we have all the table games. Let's take a quick uh, walk around them. Let's. Looks like a certain type of blackjack where the dealer must hit on soft 17. I'm not a table game player, so I don't know what that means. And I think I got all of the uh, table games on that side. Okay, we're going to be heading over to the uh, other side of the casino, which I do believe is the smoking side, although. The top part where I was before, it's like over on this side, I do believe this is also smoking because I saw ashtrays there. We'll know more later. Okay, this is the, uh, I don't know what this is called, but it joins the two uh, sections and they have table games in here. Take a quick uh, walk around. There's Baccarat. Another Baccarat table. These look like two blackjack tables. This is where the casino hosts would sit. And this is the uh, Paradise Lotto drawing that they have every night. And we have two Texas Hold'em tables side by side. These would be live deals. This is not electronic poker. I believe the uh, casino uh, rake is 15%, up to $15. And they also have uh, tournaments that they run, nightly cash games and tournaments. Uh, we have some machines up here. Let's see what they are. This is another cubby corner here with all of the uh, video poker games. The uh, jump jackpots are all turned off on this side also. Another bank of six jump, jump jackpots, they all turn off. Another bank of the uh, hot stuff wicked wheels is turned off. And we have over here the lock and links. Folks, I've been recording for over a half an hour and still got a ways to go. I want to be uh, thorough and make sure I get all of the uh, machines and table games. I hope you enjoy watching. I 
I know what you're thinking, that you saw this already, but this is another one. The old school buffaloes. Okay, so we keep uh, going uh, onwards. The missus was just giving me the business that uh, I might have actually recorded these before, but I'm pretty sure I did not because uh, I would have remembered the poker table sitting out there in the middle. But she could be right. It is a big casino and um, complicated, but a lot of these do look familiar, so I may have actually filmed them before. All right, here's another row of uh, video poker and more table games. And this would be the casino bar. Oh, video poker games. Not sure if I got these before. Uh, the missus uh, just reminded me that she'd never seen these ones before in her walk. So I'm thinking that I also did not get these, but. These are a bank of ultimate filings. And again, all of the major jackpots seems to be the same, and it's very low. Okay, I think um, in circling around a couple of times, I think we got it all. I think we got it all. It will be a fairly long video for a casino, but we try our best to get all of the machines and all of the table games. So this is Cruises and Casinos saying thank you all for watching. Well, <clears throat> welcome to Cruises and Casinos. Today is Monday, March the 7th, 2022. We are on Oasis of the Seas and we are in the uh, Casino Royale. I made a video yesterday of the entire casino, but these machines here, this bank were blank. So I just wanted to make a short video so that I could uh, include it with my uh, full video of the casino. This is uh, a, a multiple game uh, by Konami and they are, full, I believe they call uh, full stacks. It's just uh, open China Shores, and that's what it looks like. It's a 60 line game. These are one penny denominations, and the max bet would be $3. So I just wanted to give an upgrade on, update on that one, on these three machines here. Uh, of course, there are multiple games included, and I'm not sure on the other side if these are any... Yes, they are different. Okay, so now we could say that uh, our video of the casino on Oasis of the Seas is complete. And uh, we'd like to uh, thank you all for watching. This is Cruises and Casinos on Oasis of the Seas.